Arguably the best content drop we've gotten all year is now live in Madden 23 and in today's video I'm gonna be going through and showcasing what you guys gotta be doing first with all this new content in game Now Soul is a family and welcome back to another Madden 23 video in this one We're gonna be talking about the ring of honor promo and structuring this video into two separate parts Now for the first off we'll be going through and talking about some general tips and tricks I recommend you guys follow with this new stuff in game and then in the second half We'll go over two interesting methods associated with this promo. Oh, yeah, and really quick plug i'm planning on doing some gift card giveaways over on my twitter and on my instagram i did this one last night on twitter so if you guys want to potentially win some free money and some free madden packs follow me over there at ben port on instagram and at swift youtube underscore on twitter i'll leave them linked in the description now getting back on track let's talk about the general tips and tricks associated with this promo and to do so we gotta take a look at some of the missions because as you guys can see right here ea sports has really been liking just putting missions in the program section of the season four field pass in the past, it seemed like they used to put new field passes in the game, but they kind of changed that. So yeah, I'm going to direct your guys' attention to the Ring of Honor missions right here, and in terms of what we can get, there's some relatively simple XP. Now, the way we're going to complete these missions is a similar formula that I've talked about on the channel before. Step one, you get the sets done. Step two, you put one of those players from the sets in your lineup, and then step three, you play the solos. That's by far the best three-step sequential method to get all this stuff done. Now, in terms of which set is the best, I would say it's probably the 91 overall Ring of Honor Elite Fantasy Pack Exchange. You can put in some 86s and a 91. This is going to cost you about like 45 to 50,000 coins to complete. And then the 91 overall player is selling for like 45k. So you're going to be making your coins back every single time you do this. And then the last time you do this set, I recommend you put the player in your lineup so you can get progress on the other missions. And yeah, that's exactly what I did right here. As you guys can see, I've already got my sets completed. I just did that set four times over. And then after doing so, I put one of the cards in my lineup and started on on solos because again as you guys can see for these second and third missions you gotta have a ring of honor player in your lineup to get progress on these so yeah simply enough it's not all that difficult then we're gonna go to our solos we're gonna play through these i would say it's probably worth it for the xp there's nothing really too major though in terms of rewards you get a 96 which is like meh that's decent but overall though i'm mainly just playing these for the xp they're pretty quick as well honestly haven't had any major difficulties with these and i'm already halfway done and i would say about 30 minutes maybe 25 minutes though okay so that's the more boring part of this video now let's talk about two very very effective methods i want to direct your guys attention to the first one is going to be a free training method i'm a big fan of this one i've already got 450k training by doing this and i haven't really lost any coins now here's how the method works it's super super simple boys we're going to our sets we're going to the ring of honor sets in this game and we're going to complete the supporting cast fantasy pack now as you guys can see to complete this set you got to put in 396 overall players and you get a 98 back in return now in terms of numbers just like the general way this is going to work out you're going to look to buy these cards at about 300k per player because of course if you get these cards at 300k per player that's going to mean you're spending about 900,000 coins to complete this set now fellas as you guys can see once you do the set you get a 98 overall card and these 98s right now are selling for about 1 million coins so let's say we spend 900k on this set well we're going to make back 900,000 after tax and we're going to be left over with some bnd 96s because not only do we get the 98 when we complete this we also get the 96s back in return want to open up packs with better odds than ea sports gives you well check out mudpacks.com to open up packs win coins and withdraw them directly to your account and of course use code swift as you're checking out the site for 15 percent off so yeah i'll just go to the auction block right here filter it down by the quality 96 to 97 and the program ring of honor and fellas we're just gonna take some refreshes it's not that difficult if we buy at about 300k maybe 310 315 whatever the number really is i'm not really too concerned with it. Because once you complete the set and you quick sell the 96s, I believe you're getting 90,000 training back in return. That's a very, very big number. That's a number that I'm a fan of. I'm not going to lie to you. So if we go through here, spend like five, 10 minutes sniping and then make that much training back in return, this is definitely something that I'd recommend you do. I also want to show you guys my bids. So you guys can just see the prices I was getting these cards at. Some people watching this might be like, Swift, it's impossible to find these cards at like 200k. And okay, EA Sports, why are you not showing any of these bids? It says 29, but then it doesn't actually let me show you guys them right here. 
man, I don't know what's going on. But hey, that method, absolutely awesome. Next up, let's showcase the method I used to get some 98 overall players for free. That's probably what's in the title of the video. As you guys can see, Kevin Glover, Darren Woodson, Carl Banks, Randall Cunningham, all of them things are basically free. I think I might have spent like 300k in total to get these 498s, and they're really good cards. Now, the way that this method works is essentially just an extension of the last method I showed you. If we go in here and we complete this set two times instead of one time, let's say we do the Deion Sanders set, we do this two times instead of one time, we're going to get 298s. And then with those 298s, we can come in here and we can put them in this Deion Sanders set. So let me math this all out for you so you guys can hopefully fully understand the way this works. Okay, now in terms of how much we're spending on this method, again, we're going to have to get this set done two times. If we're spending about 900k per set, that's going to mean we're dropping about 1.8 million coins. I know that's a big number, but fellas, you're going to make almost all that back. Okay, now after your 1.8 million coins in spend, I know a lot of people watching this are like, damn, Swifty, there's no way I'm going to be able to spend 1.8 mil. But for those of you that can do this, keep on watching. Let me keep on explaining. Okay, now after your 1.8 million coins to spend, you're going to be left over with Deion Sanders. You're going to be left over with two BND 98s as well as six BND 96s. Because as you guys remember, when we do those 98 overall sets, we get those 96s back as BND. So let's say we go through here and we sell off the Deion Sanders card. We'll filter it down by corner so you guys can see how much this player is going to be selling for. I believe he's about 1.5 to 1.7 mil. As you guys can see right here, Dion is selling for about 1.5 mil. So we spend 1.8, but we already make back 1.5. And then although we're still in the hole for about like 300,000 coins, remember all those training points we're going to be getting back in return from these 96 overall sets. We get back in return about 160k training. You can roll the TVP with that and make back at least like 200,000 coins. And that's if you do terrible, you're making back 200k. So in that situation, we'll have basically made back all of our coins. Maybe we'll be down 100k, but nonetheless, when we do the Deion Sanders set or any of these other 99 overall sets, we get 298s back in return. So in simplest terms, the way this method works is you're spending 1.8 million coins to get six 96s. Then you're basically going to upgrade the 96s to 98s, upgrade the 98s to 99s, and basically you've spent 1.8 million coins, and in return, you're going to get a gold 99 that sells per 1.5 million. You're going to get two BND 98s that I recommend you keep on your team. Those cards are good, and you're going to get six BND 96s that quick sell for about 160k training. And if we want to figure out how much coin value that is, that's about 250k. Again, we're just kind of estimating low numbers here, and we'll say that's 200k if you roll it on the TVP. So from the start of the method to the end of the method, you basically have the same amount of coins, and you're left over with some 98s. That's what I did to get those 98 overall players on my team, and I'm loving the situation right, man. This promo's been really, really good for me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below, and click this video talking about the best 99 overall Ring of Honor players. I think you'll enjoy it, and I'm out. Peace. So, 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 so.